Greetings and salutations, Geo Nerds. So what's this 500 year old hall in Nottinghamshire in England? Pro tip, it's no longer there. What's it got to do with? This bridge over Kedron Brook, uh, looking a bit worse for wear. And this very wealthy Queensland boy who had a shitload of art and forgot to leave it to Queensland in his will. Hang in there, let's find out together. Today we're in the city, we're going to head out to Aspley to start number three of the Cabbage Tree Creek and of course we're going to take the new metro because we can. So let's get on board, should be here any minute now, here we are. A lot of people and I have on this uh, tram bus thing today. Anyway, let's get out and check out Cabbage Tree Creek, it's going to be fun. Well folks, here we are above Kumbukapar in the city. We're heading out to Cabbage Tree Creek to do the third of our series up over the city, because we can. Let's hightail it out here. We haven't got far to go. Out over Morton Bay a little bit. Then we're going to turn down. There's uh, Sean Cliff and Cabbage Tree Head down there. That should tell you something. We're going across the old um, the creek here with the sewage farm, otherwise known as the shit farm. And uh, there's the creek winding through there. Through You can see the dark bit there through the back of Tagum under the freeway. You'll see all that in the next video. We're going to walk that bit. Um, through here she turns up the valley here, lovely little creek beams, it's crossing the Rogan Road, Beams Road there. There's the railway line, the northern railway line crossing. Here we go, you can see the surveyed road there, but guess what, they never built it. Um, through here to Dorval Road, there we go, Dorval Road. Nice part of the creek down there, very steep sided. There's the uh, Gimpy Road bit, Aspley Mud Springs down there, g'day Lily. And uh, through uh, McDowell here, this creek's quite nice through here, very, very manscaped, but hey, really nice. Right through here, across that road, whose name escapes me, but it will come back. I think it's Trout's Road. And uh, up to uh, here, which is, um, no, that was Beckett's Road, actually. And this is Old Northern Road. So um, let's get down uh, and have a look at some maps, I think. Well, folks, here we've got a cadastral map from 1890 of Brisbane's north side. I'm just going to outline the section of the creek we're going to talk about today. Starts down there at Old Northern Road, through what is now McDowell up through what's now Brisbane Downs and around through Aspley and that is Gympie Road there. So that's the bit we're going to look at today. Um, there's a bit of history in this and some very interesting names. So let's have a little look at some of the names. Might uh, mean something to you. Uh, first of all, Mr. Maundrell here. Uh, Maundrell Terrace, that Maundrell, um, owned a lot of land. You can see there's two other properties he owned as well. And uh, here's a bit of geology for us. So what we've got, the pink is the uh, uh, Narren Leaf Urnvale Formation, Shale, Dark Green, Tuff, Light Green, Aspley Formation, Yellow, Petrie Formation, Light Yellow, Gravel. So you've got sedimentary, you've got volcanic, and you've got um, metamorphic, all in one map. So let's have a bit of a further look at some of the names. You know the suburb McDowell? Well, Mr McDowell didn't live in McDowell. He lived down here at Everton Park. That bridge over Kedron Brook there was called the McDowell Bridge, which is the one you saw in the intro. And here's all his properties. He had a vineyard up the top there. So here we go, folks. We're going to zoom to another place. Henry St John Bridgman. Never lived here. Was a banker. Lived in the valley. Had a property in Ipswich. Just owned shitloads of stuff everywhere. A banker, of course. Well, folks, this is Aspley Hall in Nottinghamshire. Mm. So uh, a couple uh, called the Morrisons had a farm here and they came from here and they called it Aspley Oranges and the Aspley Vineyard. 
Originally, the place was known as Soldier's Flat, then it was known as Little Tavish Street Creek, and in uh, 1897, it became known as Aspley. So here we have Sir Leon Trout, became a Connecticut in later life, Brisbane solicitor. His mum, her surname, uh, her maiden name was Story, as in the Story Bridge guy. So, um, not a bad guy, big art collector, collected a crap load of art, millions of dollars worth, had no children. Uh, when he passed away, obviously his assets went to his wife. She decided to bequeath all of his assets to the Queensland Art Gallery, but died before she could sign the paperwork. So his estate auctioned the whole lot off, and it went to various charities, including them, but uh, they had to end up buying some of the art through a dealer off the collection that they had been verbally bequeathed. Sad story, but anyway, seemed to be pretty good people. Trout's Road, they lived at a place called Everton House, which is still there, but it's a private residence, so we won't poke a camera into it. And, uh, and it's, it's not on Trout's Road, but Trout's Road is named after them, and it's a very major road on the north side, so there you go. Well, folks, here we are heading back down into the Cabbage Tree Creek uh, um, channel because we've had to make a little detour because of private property, but we'll be back on the creek in a few minutes. Well, folks, we picked up the creek again over here, just on Hamilton Road. As you can see, it's a substantial creek now. It's actually got water out. Big set of culverts underneath us here. We're just going to cross the road and pick up the trail again. It's a substantial creek here, with water and everything. Well folks, we're just joining the track again on the side of the uh, Cabbage Tree Creek at McDowell. We're about to go into the uh, McDowell Reserve, which follows the creek quite a long time on a beautiful path. We'll keep checking in on it to see if there's anything interesting. But it's just a beautiful, gentle little stream now. It's lovely. Let's see how we go. The creek looks beautiful here in McDowell, except you'll notice the colour of the water with the sun on it. That's not sediment, that's tomato soup, that's iron oxide. There's a real sulphide sewer problem in this creek. I've been following it for a while now and it doesn't seem to be getting any better. But a beautiful creek it is. You probably see what I mean about the acid sulfate soil here and the iron oxide in the water. This creek is turning more tomato soupy as time goes on. Well, folks, we're just coming up onto Beckett's Road. The Cabbage Street Creek goes under Beckett's Road here, but here we have a uh, animal control area. So this just stops all the little wallopedes, kangarillipedes, and collar bears from going on the road and getting turned into, uh, you know, roadkill, food for the crows. Interesting, but that's obviously needed. I understand it. I hope there's another way the poor little foals can get across. Probably underneath. We'll have a look when we get through.
Cabbage Tree Creek folks, about a few hundred metres from the Albany Creek Road crossing upstream. As you can see our old friends the acid sulphate soils are back again. This creek is full below the water line, it's full of iron oxide. We know what causes that and we are only a few metres from the junction of the uh, Narrowly Fernvale Shale and the Petrie Formation. So, but that was so nice and orange, I thought I'd get a picture of it for you. Here we have a stormwater drain, folks. It's a big one too. Drains a fair bit of that suburb we've just walked through. These little guys down here are called dentates. They're there to break up the fire so it doesn't actually blow the other bank away. That seems to be working. So, whole lot of garbage in this creek down here. This fence post been driven in obviously for something that didn't work. None of this rock is local so we'll see. Keep going. At least it's got water in it now. And it is an orange. It doesn't look like tomato soup. Yet. <laughs> I'm in the process at the moment of getting a creek over at St Lucia renamed from Drain to Alvey Creek. While I'm doing the paperwork, I should try and get this one renamed to Camphor Laurel Creek. That is an entire grove of very mature Camphor Laurels over there. There are hundreds of them, as far as you can see. Once they're there, all the native plants, gone. Not coming back. Well, folks, here we are again. This is the Northern Freeway Reservation. As you can see, a few people have set up a bit of a camp here. Nothing permanent because this is going to be your freeway. Right through there, all the way to Castledon. Up Ridley Road, right the way through. Anyway, as someone, do I respect their opinion, said to me once, just recently, not in our lifetime. And I believe she was absolutely correct. There we are folks, there's the creek again. I'll give you a better look in a minute. Big lump of aluminium over there. That can come down in the floods I suppose, but really. About a five kilo fridge motor. You know, why do you do this people? I noticed over just about 20 metres that way there's a bunch of old white appliances that are rusting away, but you know. Do we have to? It's a styrofoam box. Again, that could have come down in the floods. And not good. There's a huge mess of scrub turkeys here. And of course, more camphor laurels. This is a nice little creek down here. It looks great. They've done a great job of, you know, making it so we can enjoy it. Somebody's built their own little crossing down here. Obviously they don't want to walk all the way down the other end. Beautiful, shady. Creek's nice and clear here. The acid soil's gone away. There's no bedrock here. All that rock we've been seeing has just been bought into uh, 
control erosion fairly poorly but it's just a nice area rope swing there We're a little bit ambitious I think but anyway We're about two foot deep and be careful doing bombies off that but anyway sure on a hot day it's fantastic and that's a camera laurel it's tied into our creek. Nice uh, milk crate there jammed into a tree. Floods do a lot but the coffee cups and the coffee cup lids up here are just lazy shots what it is. And we're just going to walk underneath Gippy Road, pop up on the other side and we'll have a look at that now. Well that's it folks, Cabbage Tree Creek from Medal to Aspley. Next time we're going to do from Aspley right to Shawncliffe in one go. Might be this long, might be a touch longer, but anyway we'll get there. Um, thanks very much for watching. Smash that like button. It really makes the algorithm wake up and listen to me. I really appreciate it if you do. Now I've got to get home. Um, keep keep rocking. T-Rock's out. And where's that bloody metro station? It must be on top of this bridge somewhere. somewhere.